Good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 46. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Many people doubt that a God of so much grace, mercy, and unconditional love could have prepared a place of punishment and torment for some people. However, throughout the Bible, the Word of God is explicit in the fact that heaven and hell are both real places and everyone in this world will live forever in one of these two places. The Bible tells us that hell is a place of everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels, along with those who do not wish to know God and who refuse to accept his plan to save them through our Lord Jesus Christ. They will be punished in everlasting hell forever, separated from the Lord, never to see the glory of his power. The use of eternal to modify both punishment and life contrasts the two destinies and emphasizes their permanence. There will be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. All of us will stand before the judgment seat of the king. God is giving everyone time and opportunity to hear his word, make the choice to believe, and accept or reject his gift of salvation. But by the time each person stands before the king, his or her eternity is established and cannot be changed. Thus life and death, good and evil, the blessing and the curse are set before us that we may choose our way and as our way, so shall our end be. And those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to eternal life and others to eternal shame. The punishment of the wicked will be an everlasting punishment. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.